You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviews on YouTube? This is Original Baby Rye here, and welcome back to another NASCAR Authentics Wave 5 Diecast Review on my YouTube channel. And today we're reviewing another car from this really awesome wave that uh, some people like and some people hate because they either can't find it or they've already seen enough of it. But let's, uh, let, let's go ahead and start the diecast review on probably another one of the cars that have been kind of dominating, but he's not part of the big three just yet. But who knows, guys? We'll see what this guy's going to do. But it's going to be on Clint Boyer's 2018 Haas Automation Ford Fusion for Stuart Haas Racing. Really awesome that we got this car in NASCAR Authentics. Um, the second Clint Boyer car to ever be produced along uh, for NASCAR Authentics. Um, I, I am aware that we also had the peak antifreeze car and the five iron energy uh, salutes car from uh, spin master NASCAR authentics so um, but for historic Haas racing days this is the second time we've got a Clint Boer car produced and there's the rest of the way if you guys want to uh, you know look in on all your retailers then that's the cards you got to look for along with the Robert Height car as well but last time I checked that is an NHRA car not a NASCAR Man, Lionel's really pushing those, aren't they? <laughs> but without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and start the uh, unboxing and the diecast review of Clint Boyer's Haas Automation car. Alrighty, guys, we got this Haas car off its box, and might I say, this is a very, very hot car. Um, I was trying to go for a Haas joke, but clearly I killed it. So, um, moving along, we're going to go ahead and do the little accessory review, which comes with this, and it is yet another rectangular magnet, guys. Um, kind of like what we just had with Austin Dillon and a uh, majority of the other cars for Wave 5. So, but it's a nice variety. It's not like Wave 1 or 2, which all of them literally had the exact same magnets, but, um, really really nice looking um um i almost said card but this is not a card this is a magnet brian but um yeah really cool i mean um definitely is a clint boyer magnet that's for certain definitely represents the paint scheme pretty well and speaking of that guys back to the die cast you know simple paint schemes they sometimes work and sometimes they don't this one i think definitely works um and, I mean, fun fact about the Haas car, I mean, you guys probably know this if you're a Clint Boyer fan, but uh, Clint Boyer only usually drives his Haas car if he is low on sponsorship. But uh, the, the ironic part about this car is that he has gone to Victory Lane not once, but twice in this car. I mean, getting that surprise win at Martinsville was definitely amazing. I mean, nobody can argue with that, that that was an amazing celebration. Of, um, I mean, whether you hate or love Clint Boyer, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing better than having Clint Boyer in Victory Lane. I mean, that guy can put a smile on anybody's face. And, I mean, it's really cool that he's finally back in Victory Lane. I mean, uh, I really didn't think that he was going to pick up, um, you know, ever since he took over Stewart's ride. But um, he finally did, especially with the year that the Fords have had, preferably the Stewart Haas racing cars. I mean, this was just the year for it, man. And um, he even surprised it again by, um, you know, playing it... Um, um, uh, playing the strategy game on his teammate Kevin Harvick at Michigan and won the race uh, coming to a um, coming to uh, when weather implications came in and uh, what do you know he uh, he did it <laughs> so I mean you know that's awesome when you beat your teammate who has like you know multiple wins than you and he pulled off one hell of a strategy and did it again guys I mean yeah it was a rain short race I mean some people are like oh that's just luck but Man, with Clint Boyer's career, he definitely needed that. And those two wins right there definitely just showed that this guy probably still has it after all. <laughs> but um, like all usual on the NASCAR Tennis Cars, guys, um, I mean, uh, this is on the yellow mold, so, I mean, really nice. Unless you want to be on the bonus wave, then it will be on the PTC cars. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> bonus waves. Gotta love those cars. Um, but, yeah, like I noted, this is the second Clint Boyer car that we got released. Not for this year, but for overall in his storehouse racing days. So, really cool. I'm hoping we can get some more. Maybe his Wix Filters car or the Rux Truck Center's car. That'd be nice. But very appropriate that he uh, that they made this car. Probably because, they, you know, Lionel said, Oh, we see Clint Boyer's one in this, one in this car. So, might as well put this in NASCAR Authentics. Would have been cool if they made a race version of the Martinsville car. Probably would be really nice. Because that is a really nice race version. <laughs> um, I'm sure that car is probably littered with a bunch of bush cans. Because, man, Clint Boyer just really partied <laughs> well probably can't too party can't, probably can't party too hard like spencer gallagher did um don't want to go back to 1999 days <laughs> oh man what an interesting season we've had in nascar <laughs> 
But um, let's go ahead and start the diecast comparison, guys. And it's probably going to be on another Haas car, which you guys very appropriately might know now because this guy just won recently at Bristol. And it is the Kurt Busch Haas car from 2017. So as you guys can see, we also got the name banners, which dead giveaway it's a 2017 car with the old nascar logo but um these cars definitely match up pretty well i mean i know the paint schemes don't really match up because um they gotta you know they gotta um, change they gotta you know um give us some variety otherwise the spotters are gonna have a freaking nightmare i mean i mean man what was that that poker race that they had where uh, clint boyer drove the bush light car and kevin harvard drove the bush light car and the only difference you could find was that yeah one was full four and one was 14 but on the top of the car there was a uh, like a red orangish 14 to differentiate from there but man i find that hilarious but they couldn't have the both menards cars uh race together so you know <laughs> that that's just uh pretty hilarious in my opinion but i hate to be those spotters when that race happened because i just you know get so pissed off and dyslexic i'd be like god we're, we're, which one's which uh, is it harvick is it boyer i don't know they're both fast dang it <laughs> I'm having too much fun in this review, guys. I think Clint Boer definitely cheered me up in this diecast review. But um, there's a comparison for you guys, and I'm actually going to show you guys another comparison. And this car is on another Haas car, which is Cole Custard, or Cole Custer, guys, which looks like he could be the guy who will replace Kurt Busch for next year because, you know, the Haas money. I mean, it's definitely not official yet, but for all we know, I feel like he's probably going to be the guy for it to, you know, say what all you want i mean yeah he's got a win in one xfinity series but yeah but like see right there the big difference uh well, well the noticeable uh, similarity on this car is of course the placement of the logos i mean they, these cars are literally um shaped up to be the exact um notice that there's no uh red right here on the um on the front of this mustang it's just all white but uh, the paint team layout basically the exact same thing which looks really really nice and maybe this is what the car will look like next year for boy because as you guys know they are switching to the mustangs for next year which look really really nice i mean this has come from a guy who's not really the biggest fan of ford in fact they are my least manufacturer ever and i'm saying that and yet i'm a ryan blaine fan as well Boy, this review is getting oh so ironic. But um, yeah, I mean th these Haas cars, man. I tell you what, I mean if you are if you already have the Cole Custer car and the Kurt Busch car, might as well get the Boyer car to complete the whole set, guys. Uh, so I thought that was really cool that NASCAR Phoenix decided to release this car because it goes so well with the other two cars, which one was white and then the other one was red and black. I mean uh, this is a really nice looking car. It's simple, but. I really like it. I mean, uh, you can kind of consider this an almost sponsorless car. It's basically like the Furniture Row car for Furniture Row Racing. Um, like I just said, I mean, yeah, he only runs this uh, car when he can't find sponsorship. Which is a shame because after Boar just winning two races, um, man, I, I, if I was Mobile One or Rush Truck Centers, I'd be, I'd be putting on a lot more uh, races with him because um, who knows what he can pull off after what he did in those two races. But, um, yeah, guys... Rec probably recommend getting this car along with the rest of the other cars for Wave 5, especially if you're a big Stuart Haas fan as well. But um, that is all I'm going to say about the Clint Boyer 2018 Haas Automation Ford Fusion for Stuart Haas Racing. If you guys enjoyed this review along with other NASCAR Athletics Diecast reviews, then go ahead and take a second and click that subscribe button and that bell icon as well so you guys stay up, up, uh, up to date on all my latest uh, videos for this YouTube channel. So comment, like, and do whatever you can to uh, support this uh, channel, and I will do everything I can to uh, keep this uh, video series longer running for you guys. Speaking of the devil, guys, um, speaking of long running series, we got the NASCAR Diecast new 200 episode coming out uh, next Thursday, August 30th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I highly encourage you guys to check that out. It is going to be a probably a the biggest episode that we got for the NASCAR Diecast news. I mean, that's a pretty bold statement, but... Lots of great stuff are going to happen, guys. Check out my social media for more updates on that, guys. But until then, guys, this is a Ridge Ripper. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in another NASCAR Authentics Diecast Review.